Hey guys, today we'll be learning how to calculate column meter and couch angles to eliminate divergence in craniospinal irradiation. In 3D planning, the column meter angle of the brain fields must match the divergence of the superior spine field. This is to prevent overdose and underdose at the junction. In this example, the column meter is improperly set to 50 degrees. The brain fields overlap with the superior spine fields, creating a hotspot in the C-spine. Alternatively, if the column meter is set improperly to, say, 250 degrees, the region between the brain and spine fields is underdosed. Using a properly matched column meter angle ensures a homogeneous or even dose distribution throughout the spine. The matching column meter angle and couch angle can be found using these formulas. Now, let's try an example. If given a PA spine field at 100 cm SSD and 38 cm long, and lateral brain ports 18 cm long, find the column meter and table rotation to match all beams. I always recommend drawing a picture. Let's start with the column meter. The SSD is 100 cm, and the length of the PA spine port is 38 cm. As we learned, the column meter angle is the inverse of tan times 1 half the length of the spine field divided by the SSD. That equals the inverse of tan times 1 half of 38 cm divided by 100 cm. Calculate it out. You get 10.8 degrees for the column meter. Also, make sure your calculator is set in degrees and not radians. Then, for the couch divergence, draw another diagram. We have an SAD of 100 cm and a brain port length of 18. The couch is the inverse tan of 1 half the length of the brain field, or 18 cm, divided by the SAD, 100 cm. Solve it out. You get 5.1 degrees for your couch. And that's how you do a simple divergence calc for craniospinal radiation. Check out DoseGrid for more examples. Links are down below.